So, jetzt haben wir die Plakate bekommen. Zwar nicht so, wie man sie... Komm, wir reiten einfach geradeaus hier lang. Äh, zwar nicht so, wie es am Anfang geplant war. Man hätte die eigentlich verprügeln sollen, die Herrschaften da drin. Aber immerhin, wir haben unsere Ehre gerettet. Wir haben das Rennen gewonnen. Komm, Plötze, renn. Aber was mich ärgert, dass man, dass man da nicht das Schwert hatte ziehen können. Bei, bei den Kerlen in dem dem Haus. So, Moment. Ich nehme mal die Schnellreise hier. Schwupps. Na, komm. So, die Plakate haben wir. Und ab zum Rosmarin. Und dann ist der olle Dandelion, der Rittersporn, hoffentlich zufrieden. Dann hat er ja alles gekriegt von uns. Ist ja schon hart, da noch den, äh, den Stinkstiefel zu erkennen. Oh, hier ist schon, hier ist schon Eröffnung. Hier ist schon große Eröffnung. So, denn die Line, ich habe alles gemacht. Well, well, see the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. I love it, especially the uh, accoutrements on the wall. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. So. Ähm. Ja, Rosmarin und Thymian heißt es offenbar nicht mehr, ne? Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Thyme wasn't all bad. But it conjured images of Tumerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret. Apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. Alles klar, wenn du sagst. What about choreography? Prepared anything special for the opening? We haven't. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. Premier will have an audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. Ich glaube, ich habe so unbewusst alles richtig gemacht. Also ich glaube, dass das ist der bestmögliche Ausgang, den wir hier gerade haben. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Naja, es ist dein Etablissement, ne? Komm, her damit. Why not? That's my boy. <lacht> That's my boy. Alles The ja. foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And she say anything about me? Oh, jetzt kommt die Teenie-Komödie. Ähm... <lacht> Ah, ah, ähm, ja, Stinkstiefel. <lacht> uh -huh. She said you've gained some weight and that you should bathe more often. Very funny, Gerald. Shove it. <lacht> well, well. Never thought I'd live to see the day. Dandelion living in monogamy. I've always been monogamous. Well, near enough. I just changed muses often. Priscilla, another one for your collection? No, she's its crowning glory. Ach, wie romantisch. Der Rittersporn. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't... Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time, you know. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? 
speak, man. She's badly, uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Valmerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. Was ist denn jetzt schon wieder passiert? Wer hat ihr denn jetzt schon wieder unter den Rock gegriffen? God. Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. Ooh. Beg your pardon, that you are a relative? Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Graz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Ach so. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. Was haben sie mit ihr gemacht? Das war also kein... Ja, war kein... Ich meine, normalerweise zwingen einen die, die Banditen nicht irgendwas zu trinken. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery. Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt. I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Also, ich denke, da brauchen wir nicht drüber reden. Stinkstiefel oder nicht, das wird gerecht bzw. unterbunden, dass das nochmal passiert. Great analogy. But this tumor is not gonna sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well, and I assure you I can take care of myself. Easy assurance to make, harder to back up. Especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel, not a sword. Look at this scar. Don't be shy. Any idea what leaves such a mark? A flail. Morning star, maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? No. Let me repeat, I know what I'm doing, and I wish to help. Ah, yeah. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Ja, ich denke mal, wir können loslegen. Ich, ne, mach mal jetzt. Mm -hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemmelfart himself. Thanks. So, das machen wir natürlich nicht für Dandelion, aber für die Dame. You lead. Wo gehen wir denn hin? Der Doktor ist so eine Art, der hat eine Geheimidentität. So, preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Okay. Hear that? Ja, ich hör das. Draw your weapon. Wo sind die Viecher? Da, guck mal, ganz kleiner. Wartet, 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 wartet. Easy. Easy. So, wo ist er denn? Der kleine Racker. Da. Au. Vorsicht, Vorsicht, du hast den Schwierigkeitshof gerade hochgedreht. Denk dran. Ja, und der hier ist Stufe 16. 
Wow, 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 wow. Was macht er? Achso, er hat eine... Eine Armbrust. Ja, denk dran. Du bist... Äh, du hast den Schwierigkeitsgrad hochgedreht, mein Freund. Da können dir auch hier so ein paar Ertrunkene auf die Mütze hauen. Was denn? Ach, der da. Ein Wasser... Äh, Wasserweib, Wasserweib. Okay, wartet, wartet. Ich, ich mache das mal ganz kurz. Kinetische Druckwelle, magische Falle. Oh, no, Moment, du hab's gleich. Ha, ha, ha. Hat ja auch nicht sonderlich gestört, ne? Komm. Deckung. Oh, böse. Ha, ha. Ein. Au, au, au. Deckung, Gerald, 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 Deckung. Daneben. Eieiei, okay, okay. Daneben, blödes Wasserweib. Daneben. So, hier um die Ecke eine Falle. Wo ist er denn, die kleine Stinkefrau? Ey, bleibst du hier? Auf Wiedersehen. Uh, Freunde. Also, Wasserweibmutter gehen, Wasserweibzahn, Spitzwegerich, Herzogwasser. Auf was schießt du da? Ach so, auf den da, alles klar. Da kommt ihr her, meine Schätzekin. So, kommt ruhig her. <lacht> Au. Daneben. So, lassen wir ihn noch ein bisschen rumgammeln. Hier. So. Äh, wie viel Bömmchen habe ich denn noch? Äh, lass mal gucken. Ah, fünf ist okay. Where to now? Up? Yes, it's not far now. Ursula. Da ah, dringel dich doch nicht vor. Give it to me straight. No sugarcoating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Das war also ein Attentat auf ihre Stimme, kann das sein? Wer macht denn sowas? Einen Baden seiner Stimme berauben. Take the letter. Take the letter. I take the letter. If I... Na, ah, okay, dann take du halt die Letter, Mann. Jetzt habe ich sie. This is the place. Come, the quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner. Ja, ich bin gleich da. Bin gleich da, aber hier, hier liegen ein paar wichtige Sachen. Bin ja gleich da. Bleib mal locker. Aber hier sind so schöne Sachen zum Klauen. Themerischer Roggenschnaps und Starkbier. Da ist auch noch was. Moment. Skolarenfutter. So, äh, ich komme, ich komme, ich komme, komme. Da sollen wir durch. Hacker. Finde... Ne, finde ein Schiff nach Skellige dürfte falsch sein. Moment, ich muss mal kurz den Quest aktualisieren. Manchmal äh, schaltet er den Quest falsch um. Mit Schwerter und Knödeln, fleischliche Sünden, suche die Leiche des... Genau. Ja, 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 das hier ist es. Ja. Manchmal schaltet er die, die Quests einfach falsch ein. Äh, Roggenschnaps, was ist denn das hier für eine... Guck mal, da liegt er doch. Nehmen wir den da? Was hat er denn? Looks like Necrophage has got to this one. Let's keep looking. Okay, der wurde also von Ertrunkenen erwischt. Wen haben wir hier? Human. Wrong body type. Okay. Wir, wir brauchen noch mehr Leichen, bitte. Zerbrochene Hake brauchen wir nicht. Äh, das nehmen wir mal mit. Mach mal Platz. Mach Platz. Da sind wir hergekommen. Komm, gehen wir mal hier rauf. Ich hoffe, die Tür ist offen. Okay, da geht's noch lang. 
Grünschimmel. Hier gibt es nur Alkohol, Zwergenschnaps. Ich meine nicht, dass ich mich beschweren würde. Zwergenschnaps kann man immer gebrauchen. Tagebuch eines Feuerschluckers haben wir schon. So, dann mal da durch. Ah, da haben wir auch noch Leichen. Okay, was hat den erwischt? Das ist nicht. Was hat er gesagt? Das ist er nicht, ne? Ich meine, muss ja ein Zwergenarbeiter sein. Da ist noch eine Kiste. Oh, sehr praktisch. Ähm, Zitronenwodka. Oh, hier haben wir noch. So. Da hinten liegt noch wer. Aber das sieht falsch aus. Wir suchen ja einen Zwerg, ne? Human. Wrong body type. Let's keep looking. Ähm, das nehmen wir noch mit. Geh, geh mir aus dem. Geh mir aus dem. aus dem Weg hier. Bärenfett. So, okay, wo waren wir denn noch nicht? Hier waren wir, hier waren wir. Da, hier vielleicht noch. Da liegt einer. Ist das ein Zwerg? Könnte einer sein. Das muss er sein. Echt? <lacht> Erinnert mich an Herr der Ringe. Okay, aber das ist auch ein Zwerg hier. Ein Dwarf, aber die Hände. Nicht ein Carpenter. Ein Banker ist mehr wahrscheinlich. Okay. Jetzt suchen wir auch noch einen bestimmten Zwerg. Nehmen wir den hier. Calluses auf den Fingern. Sawdust in the beard. Clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood. Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Äh. Uh, oh, fangen wir oben an. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Okay. Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes, and some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Awa? Let's examine the mouth. Burns, blisters, just like Priscilla's. Was ist denn das? Also entweder ein sehr merkwürdiges Monster oder äh, ein Ritualmörder. See this incision made into the voice box. Indeed, so thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. But why? The wound is too small to bleed. And there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy. So the victim wouldn't die too soon. Sehr ekelhaft. Okay. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, And a scar the length of his stomach. Hmm. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. Ach, wir suchen Ostereier. Mhm. Ich muss sagen, das ist richtig spannend hier, so diese Autopsie. An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. Afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Hat ein bisschen was von Schweigen der Lämmer gerade, ne? Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin, an incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. 
An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink or rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay. And why his throat scalded. Was ist denn hier bitte abgegangen mit dem? Augen rausgerupft, äh, stattdessen Kohlen rein, ein Amphibienei in, in den Herzraum gelegt, ge gezwungen Formaldehyd zu trinken. Look at his hands, these welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen, toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard, right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. Yeah, apologies, we surgeons, we've a different sensibility. Mm -hmm. And a different sense of humor. <laughs> okay. His genitals, we ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. Abwarten. Der Gerald untersucht gern mal das Gehänge von Zwerg. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and shit. Syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. Hm. Okay. We weiß ich genug? Was weiß ich denn? All right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please, because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. Äh, ja, ich, ich hätte auch auf Ritualmord gesetzt. Der Mörder ist wahnsinnig, oder das? Ich würde sagen, es war ein Ritualmord. Mit den, mit den Eiern da drin. Aber das, das wäre geraten, ne? Ich rate mal. It's some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets. Cavity where the heart should be, scalding liquid, all centering on warmth, heat, fire. A fire eternal. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate of Far Corners. That poor Trebirons was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace, the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave... Via another route. Okay. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. 
Thank you. Ja, und schon sind wir fast so ein bisschen mitten in so einer Story. Ja, wie, wie nach Jack the Ripper oder so. Richtig spannend, muss ich sagen.